Hi guys. Um, I just wanna show you how to use uh, this calculator. It's a financial calculator, HP 10B2 Plus, uh, to compute variance. Um, I've not found so much, so many of of this uh, assistance uh, videos online. So I thought maybe uh, I should share a few with you. Uh, there are some other calculators that uh, are pro provided for in terms of videos out there, but I didn't find many using th this one. So if you have been struggling to find out how to use it uh, for different functions or purposes, this is one of, of those things. Um, you, it has up to four decimal places here, as you can see. It's not uh, rocket science, I hope. It's a matter of um, doing second function equals sign for display and nine. If you want nine or any other number, you can even uh, clear all decimal places. But I, I think for purposes of uh, uh, the video today, you, we can just suffice with uh, minimum of four it's it's important at least you know how to to move juggle between those now i have just a few um things here i have already used my uh, excel to calculate this number as you see the formula up up there um so i'm going to use this 10 observations punch them into the calculator here and see if i'll get the same figure now uh, for purpose of doing that uh, some would some who would uh, um, suggest that you 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 put this onto an uh, algebraic mode like it has just done having done so we are going to punch those numbers you saw on that screen uh, we have um, 39, I just input it here, 39, and this is the, the button you use to put an observation that is the first observation. The second one is 29, it's there. The third one is 43, 43, and then 52, 52, uh, 39, it's 39, then we got 44. Uh, we got 40, uh, then uh, 31, 31, 44 again, there. and then 35, 35. There, there are your 10 um, our observations. Now, when you want to calculate, you can, you can even find the mean. Uh, which will be second function x bar here, second function x bar y bar, that will be your mean. Now, this will be uh, your, 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 your standard deviation, s x s y, second function, eight. This is, a, you see, it's s, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, 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 a sample standard deviation. If, if we assume that data came from a sample, if we assume it came from population, then we would use a uh, sigma x, sigma y, which is a second function, nine. That is indeed, I, I hope you know the difference between uh, pop, uh, um, population and sample standard deviations. So let's assume that one is a, is a, is a, is a sample uh, standard deviation. So this will be second function, s, x, s, y. However, this is standard deviation now if we want variance from this number we just after it gives us this answer we go to the second function again and then square root uh, in fact uh, to power two the square of it there it is 48 uh, 45.822 this is the same number that that we got here and also you see this is a variance of a sample so maybe if uh, I did uh, for population here, which is simple, uh, like this, population. 
it would give me 41.24 i can come and do the same thing down here i can come and do the same thing down here second function um, standard deviation for population and then take it to power 2 40 1.24 yeah not 40 40 41.24 so yeah i thank you uh, for watching this video i hope it will be useful for you i'll be sharing some more functions as time goes on because i'm i'm, I'm using this uh, when studying uh, so a lot of uh, calculations that are coming uh, which you you may not have found before uh, on basing basing yourself on this calculator, I will put them up there. Thank you.